Hello everyone, welcome to Gautam Digital Learning. My name is Srinivas. I am the faculty and the solution architect for ServiceNow. Today, let me give you the brief details about ServiceNow training roadmap. So first of all, let me talk about the duration of the training. This course duration will be 55 to 60 hours, not days guys. The classes will be happen, regular classes will be happen from Monday to Friday. I'm not going to take any classes on weekends. In case if syllabus is not completing, I will be take extra classes on weekends also and public holidays as well. That may depends on our syllabus complete and timings availability. And this 55 to 60 hours duration, I'm going to be cover service now administration. And the second one is service now development third one service now implementation in single training i am going to cover all these three but if you want to become an expert in service now platform you have to more focus on development part why because most of the companies or clients projects are looking for service now developers service now developer can manage admin and implementation activities also that's why we have to align with service now development part next one coming to the topics the entire course has been divided into five parts first one is the basic level second one is intermediate level third one advanced level fourth one very advanced level last one is master level if you want to become an master in service now platform can i jump to the master level can i start master level directly no this is never recommended in service now first of all we have to start the practice with the basic level some topics i had mentioned in the basic level some topics i had mentioned in intermediate level similarly some topics i had mentioned in advanced very advanced and master level. So when you want to become a master in service now, you have to start with the basic level. Next one. So what are the things I'm going to be cover in this training, this 55 to 60 hours duration. So first of all, we'll be explain about the theoretically of each topic and what is what and importance of the topic. Then we'll show you practically and Everyone need to get hands-on experience on topic wise and will provide some real case studies. The people who are working in different MNCs, we are trying to gather some real case studies from them. Those all the real case studies we can try to implement in our instance to get more hands-on experience on service now platform. So we have a lot of real case studies. There's all the case studies I can show you practically how can we implement them in your instance. And last but not least, we'll be provide some interview questions on uh, topic wise. So in my training experience, I had prepared one most effective entry question book. If you prepare this all 375 entry questions book, 100% you can crack the interview yourself without anyone help. So up to seven plus experience. So almost I had covered all important entry questions over there. The book, I will show you where the book is available. Next one is coming to certifications. Service now. Certifications. Basically service now platform is going to offer three mainland certifications. First one is CSA. Certified System Administrator, this is Admin Certification. Second one, CAD. Certified Application Developer, this is Developer Certification. And the third one is CIS, Certified Implementation Specialist. This is about Implementation Certificate. Apart from these three, there is one more important certification is there, that is called CTA, Certified technical architect this certification is comes under architect certificate so if you want to enroll for cta certificate first of all you should have good experience on these all areas administration 
development implementation and uh, architect these three are mainland certifications which are offered by service now meanwhile service now is going to provide many micro certifications on application wise already as i said earlier service now is the cloud based atsm tool that may have many applications some applications having micro certification also when you want to get micro certification in service now first of all you have to complete the training on the specific application so then you will get the voucher using by that voucher you can enroll for the examination then we can complete so micro certification is not important at all it may depends on your business requirement so if you complete these three okay those are always added advantage to your profile how can we enroll for the examination how will we get the vouchers this is all we can discuss once again about the certifications next one coming to service now roles and responsibilities in basically service now there are three main roles in service now right first one is service now administrator so what are the responsibility of administrator service now administrator is going to manage only admin activities admin activities such as like suppose how they can manage the people and like creating the users groups roles adding members to the group removing the members from the group how can we configure the delegate how can we import bulk data into service now tables how can we migrate the changes from one to another instance that may be testing to uh, production or uat to other instances as well and um, similarly they can perform other admin activities and one more important thing you have to remember service now administrator he is not going to involve in scripting part he doesn't have any experience in scripting right that's why he is not going to involve any scripting next one coming to service now developer role and responsibilities service now developer have good experience on all service now out of the box components and you should have some experience with the scripting service now developer is going to involve scripting and service now developer using javascript fundamentals those uh, fundamentals are fair enough to work with service now development part and meanwhile is going to use combination of glide apis glide apis are very important in service now development part so we can see later when we start practice with service now glide apis and the second third role is service now developer is over right he is going to manage all development activities and meanwhile going to involve scripting part as well. there is one more important role is implementation specialist so what is the role and responsibility of implementation specialist this is a special role guys this role this person is going to involve to create a new application from scratch like create a custom application or scope application so this is the main responsibility of implementation specialist and developer can customize existing applications as per the business requirement but implementation specialist can involve to create a scope or custom application from scratch and sometimes is going to involve in scripting part as well this is all about roles and responsibility of the training so finally coming to the highlights of the training in this course first of all i will finish the all the mentioned topics in the curriculum topic wise once completing the training will help you in the uh, resume preparation how do we prepare effective resume and how can we upload into the naukri then third one is how can we prepare for interview so in my training experience as i said earlier i had prepared top 375 entry questions if you go through all 375 entry questions 100% you can crack the interview yourself without any one help up to 7 plus experience guy and one more thing also you required some scripting knowledge so while working with service now development part but not required any prerequisites to start service now development part just you can come up with fresh mind in this course i will be teaching javascript fundamentals also up to required only we can use javascript fundamentals so in this course i will be cover javascript fundamentals also and i am promising you all 100% i will make you good at scripting okay this is about the overview of the service now 
training and a roadmap duration and things what we are going to cover in the training. Thanks for your time. Have a great day.